<laughs> Yo. All right, guys. Look. So, what's up, guys? All right. So, I went to the training mode. I'm just gonna show you guys like. Shut up, woman. Um, I'm gonna show you guys kind of like uh, my favorite things about this game. Just a few little tips and tricks. Uh, some of them you may have already know, but hey, you know, maybe maybe a few of you don't. So of course, in the tutorial tells you, you know, you slide down hills, you go faster. But I don't know if you guys know, if you jump after you go down the slide, you launch further, it carries your momentum. So when the hill kind of dies out, you want to jump. For example, like, so like you just kind of guy a little bit so usually when the hill starts to die right here you'll jump and you'll glide just a little bit extra further so that's like a little one thing and anywhere you kind of have like a little slip um you kind of want to want to dive in for example like right here it's like near wetlands there's like a bunch of like little craters you can kind of every time it dips down to slide down it's like a little uh, skateboard ramp so as far as all the weapons go um there's high skill gap loadouts uh and then um and then lower skill gap loadouts and i love it because i, th I think they did a really good job at um at balancing all the weapons sure a little minor tweaks to a few different things um but to kind of show you just some of my favorite things to r to run here okay so i think we might yeah so so of course if you can get the mastiff it's it's absolutely insane this is like the longest like range shotgun it does the most damage it shoots really really fast and it's just like and it reloads quick, bro. It's just, it's insane. So if you find the Mastiff, oh my god, eight. Now the Kraber is really good. The thing with the Kraber though, like I like it, but the thing with the Kraber is the ADS just takes a little longer. And I don't like how I gotta get out of zoom to reload. Hits for 125 in the body. You get the headshot, it'll hit like two something, 225 I think. Um, which is pretty awesome. Uh, typically how I, what I always try to look for is, is I would like to have like a medium to long range gun and then a close range ape gun. Um, depending on how I feel. Now, typically, most cases, I'll go with like a, uh, um, with just like this, like a little Peacekeeper for like the close range. Cause the Peacekeeper is really good. But the thing is Peacekeeper, like if you if you miss your shots, you, like you can pay for it. So if you're like missing a lot, a lot you're, you, you're gonna suffer. Uh, little tips on shooting, don't always ADS. Like sometimes when you're like this close, like you don't always have to aim in. Like, you can just hit fire. Sometimes it's a little bit easier, especially with like the uh, the wingman, the wingman is absolutely insane if you can hit your shots. Um, but up close, you want to hip fire. The Mozambique, we all know, is a straight doo doo weapon. Don't even touch that thing, man. Um, the auto shotgun is is good. I, I for a time being, I was all about it because I was like, oh, you know, if I miss, I can just shoot again, like the like the tac in, in Fortnite. But it just doesn't do the damage. The peacekeeper can one tap sometimes. You get a headshot. So I've kind of been uh, transitioned to that lately. Um, G7 used to be one of my favorites. I'm not a fan of the G7 anymore. I don't. I don't look to pick it up. The Alternator, the R99, um, the P2020, and the RE45. These are guns that I that I only pick up if that's all I've got. The R301 is amazing. I like the R301 a lot. Um, this is really really good. So for example, like let's say I have this loadout. So I'll either run like R301 and Peacekeeper, but the problem is this kind of limits me from like longer range. Um, or I'll do something like this while well, I run like the wingman with uh let me just make some room for some weapons here I'll run like the wingman with uh with some form of spray gun so any type of spray metas it decreases skill you've heard me say that in plenty of other games before um I don't think I, I think they did a really good job at balancing the spray meta in this uh precision you're definitely rewarded a lot more um the spray isn't as insane and overpowered as it is in like games like destiny and call of duty and all that kind of stuff uh so it's pretty dope but anyways I'll use this and you can use the hand can as an up close gun it's like if I'm up close like this I'll hit fire. So like boom. And then instead of where it's like most of the time when I first got this gun, I was trying to do this. And it's good, but like sometimes I would just you just miss your shots because it just makes it that much more like you have to be that much more precise to hit everything. So sometimes like the way I'll engage is I'll be like this. Say I got like cover over here. And I'll be like shooting right there. Boom, boom, boom. And say I do a couple damage. I'll get when I get close, I'll do one of this. And then when I gotta reload, it's like run off, reload, slide back out. It's just more forgiving, especially when you're diving into a room. Like it's more forgiving to have out your uh, a spray type gun than to have out your wingman. Wingman is definitely powerful, but like I said, it's just more forgiving, right? And depending on your skill, if you're not really that good at shooting, if your per if your aim is isn't the best, try to lean more towards a spray type meta rather than a precision type uh, meta, you know. This gun is absolutely insane. It's another thing I really like to run. I like running this, and then I'll run 
I'll run the Spitfire with, uh, and I won't run, you don't run two spray metas, okay? So I'll run like Spit, Spitfire with like, let's see, some kind of, some kind of like this, like Peacekeeper. So I'll run a Spitfire with a Peacekeeper. Spitfire can literally like, dude, just lasers. You can just cross map, just fucking tap, 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 tap. When you spray, of course, like when you go to shoot your guns, you want to control the pattern. Like as you shoot, see how it like, goes up? So like when you shoot, you want to like, Pull down just a hair to try to maintain your shots, uh, which is awesome that that's a thing. I wish Destiny were to have that, but it doesn't because the game sucks. Um, but yeah, I'll do use, use this like up close stuff, and then when I get up in their face, I'll go here. You know what I mean? Um, let's see what we got over here. As far as these goes, the devotion's really good. I'm not a fan of it just because it takes so long to charge up. Now there is the turbocharger uh, that you can get, which goes into this little uh, attachment slot. But, I don't know, I just don't like it. This is something I'll pick up early game. But if I use it, I try to tap. But see, yeah, that's hitting for 17, whereas the other gun that I was using hits for, uh, hits for 20. So I think that's a little bit better, you know, but... But, good thing about this is it does this. It's literally, like, the sweet business from Destiny. It's insane. Um... And then the triple take, I don't like the triple take too much. It's not bad. I like the iron sights for it, or I guess, I like graphic sights, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Um, I like, I, I don't mind it. I just, for its uh, potential, I think it's I think it's pretty limited in what it can do, you know. But that's my that's my thought on the guns. I So pretty much, if, you want, if you're new to the game and you're trying to kind of get things going, um, have some, have some kind of ape gun and have some kind of, uh, some kind of like medium to long range gun you know like some kind of precision with some kind of ape or some kind of precision and some kind of spray the spray and the shotgun are going to be up close guns anything that sprays anything that shotguns and then uh your precision is going to be as you're working your way closer you don't really want to play long range games like you don't really want to sit back and just like tap 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 and just and try to hold position because it takes a while to kill people and it's easy to heal in the game um and your guns are so loud, people hear it across the map. So you could be shooting, and you're like trading shots, trading shots, and you know you're pinched between two, three teams. And then it's just like, it's insane. So it's a good idea to kind of pinch and flank and and, uh, and all that kind of stuff. So that's my thoughts on it all. Um, if you guys have any tips, comment in the, or put, put it in the comments below for the other people. All right. Um, I'm excited for this game. I like this game. This, I've having a lot of fun this game i'm excited for all the new content to come out the battle pass everything you know it just the game just feels right it just feels right you know hopefully you guys enjoy catch me live tsita it's uh twitch.tv slash tsita i'll see you guys there